I was training to go to Europe for the clay court season. And so you need to be very fit for that. So I was training really hard. Um, I got on the tennis court and I was warming up um, to, for a session of tennis and uh, I couldn't hold my tennis racket. I kept dropping my tennis racket every time the ball would hit the racket. So I felt I was getting weak. As the time went by, I was just getting weaker and weaker at quite a rapid rate. So much so that at night time, I couldn't hold my knife and fork. By the time I woke up in the morning, I couldn't move at all. I was totally paralysed and just couldn't move. Because I was uh, losing my strength, um, I actually couldn't, eventually I, w I wouldn't have been able to breathe, and so I needed a respirator to help me to breathe. It's very unlikely for someone like me to recover because I'm long-limbed. Uh, what happens is the nerves grow back at half a millimetre a day. And because they take so long to grow back, uh, the nerves at your extremities, your, your, not nerve endings, your nerves themselves think that they're not, not needed anymore and they just die off. So when my extremities, knees down, I've only got 5% of the nerves functioning in my knees down and about 20% in my hands. Uh, after about uh, three or four years, I knew that uh, I wasn't going to um, you know, fully recover. I went and studied engineering and business at uh, QUT, did a, did a double degree there. I really felt strongly the call. The more I lived my faith uh, and the more I um, uh, communicated in, in prayer with God, the stronger I felt in calling me to be a priest. And um, like I said, there was that resistance at 18. But from there, I kept feeling strongly a call and I kept resisting it. Um, but the more I resisted it, the stronger I felt the call. It's hard work resisting. <laughs> and, and like I tell people, once I, once I came back and joined the seminary, it's like a huge weight has been lifted off me and I've been just filled with joy ever since. My growth in the faith went from being grateful for just my, my uh, outstanding gifts, like being able to play tennis, to being grateful for everything. Uh, because Guillaume Barre gave me that, being grateful to be able to breathe, being grateful to be able to talk, being grateful to be able to move, being grateful to, with all these beautiful people visiting me.